Lulls Travels here and uh, today we've come to the Derbyshire Dales. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today, really nice and sunny. And uh, what are we doing today, Lol? We're doing a 5.50 mile walk. We got it off Discover Derbyshire and the Peak District. Um, and it's called the Rowsley Walk or Rowsley Walk. Yeah, and uh, apparently this walk takes us on to the Nine Ladies, the Stone Circle. So we'll go and check that out and show you guys. So yeah, come with us, have a look. Right. And just before we forget, it's actually Thea's first time in Derbyshire today. Very yes. first time. She yeah. um, she was sick in the car, unfortunately, though. Yeah, and she ate it up and then was sick again a few times. So I was nearly sick. Yeah, so, but again, it is a first sort of long journey with us so mm. we're just gonna have to see how she goes but yeah let's go okay and we are heading to the left of the field this is a nice little bit look at those cottages I know it's so pretty oh, they're lovely, aren't they? very posh very yeah. got to have a bit of dough yeah <laughs> it's almost like a manor house yeah look at those look at those sta stable, stable doors. doors yeah wow stable doors. Right, so we have another style for theatre master. with as much finesse as you could expect. So this is called the Earl Grey Tower and it is to commemorate his Reform Act of 1832. So this style at Earl Grey Tower is actually quite clever and very dog friendly. Do you want to uh, demonstrate? Hang on a minute. How are we going to get over this style with a dog? Hmm. Wow, look! There's a way! <laughs> Come on, Thea. Come on, Thea. Shall I get under as Can well? Can we all get through? <laughs> Wait, hang on. Hang on. Now this is a bit where you've got to juggle. Lou, I want to seriously say oh, no. <laughs> Go over that way. <laughs> it's not. It's only dog side. So according to the walk itinerary, today's walk is a contrasting walk through beautiful limestone country with superb views which we've seen. Crossing the isolated gritstone plateau of Stanton Moor which we're currently on, covered with its Bronze Age relics. And here we 
have the Nine Ladies Stone Circle. So the Nine Ladies, I'll just um, read the story of the legend behind the Nine Ladies. So, the most famous of the Bronze Age relics on the moor are the Nine Ladies Stone Circle. Legend has it that the nine ladies danced here on the Sabbath and were turned to stone as a punishment, along with the fiddler who stands nearby. Last century, the Heathcote family excavated in excess of 70 burial mounds on the moor. So it's got a hell of a lot of history and also it attracts a lot of pagans on the solstice. So, but it's a, it's a great place to come and experience. The Kingstone, aka the Fiddler. Right, so we've just bumped into a lovely gentleman called John, and he is currently stood in the Nine Ladies Circle with a shamanic drum. Wow, look at that. That's cool. Thank you, John. You're welcome. village and we're going to be taking the footpath and just look at that view. Right so we had a little bit of a hairy moment then didn't we though? Yeah I was panicking seriously panicking yeah, we um, followed the instructions, we went for a field. I sort of headed in the wrong direction at first, and it was just with sheep. But because the sheep were bleating, like telling us off, a herd of cows decided to meander yeah. sexily down yeah, the hill. It was a bit scary, so but managed we're to safe. get over the style in time. Yeah, we're out of there now, but cows sorry, the car was going past, but cows, you gotta be so careful of them. Sheep, I'm alright, but you know, cows, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> People have died, haven't they? Yeah. Like being chased by livestock and things. But it was like they reacted to the sheep's belief. Yeah, wasn't I it? reckon the sheep told the cow grassed on us yeah said oh look they're in their field over there look yeah go and get them go and sort them out and then they all came and then they all came it was like a bloody stampede out of jumanji nearly yeah but look we got out yeah we we're out we've just come through the uh the gate there so let's continue the rest of the walk in safety right we'll try <laughs> so we're back in the car now um Unfortunately, we had to take a little bit of a detour towards the end of that walk because after we was in that field where we told you that the cows were, we went in another field and there was more cows in there. So because we had fear with us, we decided it wasn't a great idea. So we turned back and we went down the, uh, down the A6 so we were by the road, but you know, safety first. But other than that, it's been a really, really nice walk. Yeah, it's a very interesting walk. It's got a lot of features on the way. If you're interested in those types of things, it's a brilliant walk. As it says, the, the views are superb, they truly are. Um, and we definitely recommend this walk to anybody. Just, it's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, 
I think you got a variation of everything on this walk, didn't you? Yeah, it's um, so pretty. Yeah. So, yeah, but again, uh, we'll put the uh, the link for the map for this walk down below in the description if anyone wants to check it out. How many miles was it? Is it about five and a half? Yeah, but with our little detour, it might have been a... Yeah, a bit longer. A bit longer. But again, you know, um, it is what it is. But anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you do like the channel, feel free to follow us and uh, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. In the meantime, keep, keep walking. walking. And it's bye from Fiat.